going on, everybody? This is Joe. And Amy. And we are back with another episode of Pokemon Black, Amy's fifth journey through the world of Pokemon. Last time, we were here at the Desert Resort after having made our way here through, I guess, more of the... Oh, I'm sorry. This is the Desert Resort, right? So yeah. we came by way of the Desert and the Desert Resort here into the Relic Castle. Yeah. Uh, we have not traversed any further than this into this castle. Um, and these are what, or this is what our team looks like presently. Uh, before we get further into this, Amy, I'll ask you, how does the team look right now? Do you want to switch up who's in first? How do you feel? Yeah, I think we put Simisage first. Because um, I imagine that. There's going to be a lot of ground types in here. Okay. I accidentally used dig. It literally just takes us right back here. The two steps forward that we walked earlier because I accidentally did that, but it's fine. <laughs> We're back here again. What a what a waste of time. But it's, <laughs> it's fine. At least it wasn't too much time to waste. Exactly. Though. All right. Sinisage is in the front. Do you care who's second? No. Okay. Then uh, here we are. Uh, purple jacket or scientist looking dude first? Uh, let's do the scientist. We don't want to get too close to the butthole yet. There are two things I've learned about quicksand. If you try to walk through the middle, you'll fall. And if you try to run through it, you'll fall. So that butthole, as you call it, is quicksand. If we go through the middle, we fall through it. Okay. Through it. And if we run at any point while we're on it, we fall through it. Okay. But otherwise, we can walk on it without concern. Okay. This person says, My psychic-type Pokemon just started making noises. Is that because we're in the ruins? Or is it because of you? I don't know. That's creepy. <laughs> it's Psychic Perry with one Pokemon. Sigilyph. Whoa. Uh. We've got Simisage. Sigilyph, by the way, level 24. Simisage, level 21. What, if anything, would you like to do against this? Or would you like to switch? Uh, <laughs> First of all, it's because... It's so intimidating. I was just going to say, what do you think of Sigilyph? Oh, God. Um, I think it's Sigilyph because it's a sigil. But anyway... It's a sigil and a glyph, right? So Right, yeah. Okay, let's uh, use Lick. It used Air Cutter against our Grass type. <gasps> and we go to 8. Oh my god. But we live and get off the Lick, which does that much. It is super effective, and it does paralyze. Oh my gosh. Well, let's switch out anyway, though. <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. Holy crap. Who will we switch to? Um, well, Sandile. Okay. Uh, Sandile has some dark type moves we could use. Correct. The only other Pokemon I believe that has a dark type move on it is Whirlipede with Pursuit. But Sandile, of course, um, won. Uh, ooh, it was fully paralyzed, so no damage from anything that turn. Nice. Um, so Sandile has Stab with Bite or Assurance and is wearing the black glasses, which also boosts dark type moves. Yes. So let's use Bite. Sandile is faster, <clears throat> despite being one level lower. Oh, uh, and because of the paralysis, excuse me. Air Cutter hits. Oh, Ooh. and crits and kills Sandile. Holy crap. Uh, Whirlipede, I suppose. That's a good idea. That was... I did not expect that at all. Yikers. Holy wow. crap. Oh, uh, Bug is also super effective, although if this is also part flying... Since it is flying and has used flying type attacks, uh, I don't know. I don't well, remember. Bug see. would be not very effective against flying, so it would be neutral. Okay. But it would be stabbed, so, so it's up to you. So let's try Pursuit. Whoops. Wrong. Oh my god. I'm the worst person. <sighs> Poison Tail. Air Cutter against our Bug. I'm the worst. Seriously? That critted too? I hit the wrong button. I'm so sorry. Okay. It's a flying type, though. Okay. Possibly. Likely. Right? So maybe Blitzel? I'm I'm so sorry. But yes, hopefully Blitzel. K 
can get this done. Uh, and we're going to be faster, so... Okay. Well, uh, Whirlipede does not get the experience, and I apologize for that. But Sigalyph does faint. It was his only Pokemon. That was a hell of a thing. Yeah. 1,059 experience for Blitzel, who is level 22 now. Okay. There are your pluses. Uh, well. <laughs> okay. Who needs defense, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> so, 57 HP, 37 attack, 22 defense, 29 special attack, 25 special defense, and 42 speed. Blitzel wants to learn Pursuit. <laughs> Ah, oh, Christ. <laughs> Should a move be deleted and replaced with Pursuit? No. Not even Tail Whip? No. Okay. No worries. Pursuit's not even good, and we already have it on another Pokemon. <laughs> and we have a Dark-type Pokemon with <laughs> three Dark-type moves. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so we will not put Pursuit on Blitzel. For... Oh, my God. I'm uh, not on it today, apparently. Sorry, everybody. Keep old moves. Give up. Okay. Whew. Anyway, Simisage gained 353, and you defeated Psychic Parry. So strong. Who are you? You got $768 for winning. Oh, that's it? For almost killing my entire team? <laughs> sure, but notably, the last trainers that you fought were giving you like 400-something, so it's almost double. Okay. It is said that long ago, these ruins were the heart of civilization for people and Pokemon in the Unova region. So thankfully, as we know, uh, there is a doctor right up here that we can go to to heal our Pokemon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because my mistake uh, almost lost us that fight, but thankfully you were able to make up for it and... I apologize. And we are here now and fully healed. That's right. Okay. We don't have to go into any of this uh, sand as we go back to the Relic Castle. Which, by the way, what, what do you think about the name and place so far of Relic Castle? Oh, firstly, we run into a wild Yamask. Ew. That is creepy as fuck. <laughs> okay. Um, it is wild. You could catch it if you want to. No thanks. What type um, of Pokemon do you think it is, Amy? Psychic, maybe? Or ghost? Or creepy? <laughs> okay. Um, well, you've got these attacks, or you could switch. Well... Uh, let's use Lick against it to see if it's Ghost. Uh, well, Lick will be super effective against either Psychic or Ghost. So oh. if you're deciding between the two, that won't help you. Well, it, maybe it's Dark. Okay. Alright, so if it's Dark, you'll... No, because it won't be super effective. Yeah. Okay. But otherwise you'll have narrowed it down to Psychic or Ghost. Yeah. Okay. Let's lick it. You use Lick. It is super effective. Okay. And Yamask used the Mummy ability. What? Which made Simisage's ability Mummy, and it disabled your Lick. <gasps> you bitch. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, if it has a mummy ability, it's probably ghost. That makes a fair amount of sense. Now, does it describe mummy now that Simus Age has it? I highly doubt it. Summary. Gluttony is still its ability listed here, so no. But it uh, basically, I can tell you that mummy just takes Simus Age's ability and gets rid of it and replaces it with mummy, which is just you know, make the opposing Pokemon have your ability if it, like, hits you or uh, something. okay. So, um, it no longer has gluttony, but you're not using a berry, so it's kind of irrelevant. Yeah. Um, let's switch out. To? Um, Sandile. 
Okay, I like it. Simisage comes out. Sandile comes in. Yamask used Hex. Uh, which dealt okay. a little bit of damage. It's not very effective. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Okay, let's bite. We are faster. We bite. And finish it off super effective. Yes. Yamask faints. Mocks the ability, but irrelevant. It's a wild Pokemon. And you got 48 on Sandile, 99 on Blitzel, and 53 on Sinisage for experience. Not a lot oh. from that thing. Okay. So, not a fan of Yamask, huh? No. Uh, <laughs> but, you know... <sighs> oh, it did, like, no damage to you. It did a little of Sandile. But... I guess... Uh, okay. All right. I'm trying to get a feel for the things we're going to encounter in here now. Okay. Um, okay. So, it's a relic castle. Mm -hmm. So, it seems like... It's less going to be dependent on the fact that it's a sandy area and more going to be dependent on the fact that it's a relic castle. Okay. So there are ghosts and there are um, psychic types in well, here. Well, so as a reminder, the psychic type was used by the trainer, right? Mm -hmm. And you know that similar dress, it seems, to the trainer on the left... Yeah. So likely that person will is a psychic as well. Um, the wild Pokemon was the ghost. Right. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So that being said, does that cause you to want to switch up who's in the front? I mean, obviously yeah. Lick was super effective against both, but who would you like to be in the front? Sandile. Because the dark is special effective against both psychic and ghost. Sure. Okay, so then we will talk to this person. Just being here fills me with magical power. It's Psychic Dua. It's like Dua Lipa. Uh, <laughs> she's got two Pokemon. Wubat is first. Okay. Level 23. And we've got Sandile, level 23. Bite! Imprison. So it seals our moves. We learned about what that was a while ago. It means that any moves that we have that Wubat also has, we now can no longer use. Oh, okay. But Wubat fainted to one bite, and we have a Moxie boost, which is relevant because they do have a second Pokemon. Sandal gained 218, Blitzel 226. Dua is about to send in Muna. Ah. Will we switch? No. Muna comes in. Will we bite Assurance or something else? Uh, we can bite. Um, I like how Seal is a wax seal. Yeah, it's cool, right? It's very cool. Second Moxie Boost, bit irrelevant. She's out of Pokemon. But Sandow gained 201, Blitzel 209, and you defeated Psychic Dua. You seem to be full of magical power, too. And you got $736 for winning. And Sandile's doing great. Right? In ancient places, magical energy remains. I can understand it. So much sorrow and joy. Awesome. You like that? Yeah. You want to talk to these folks? Yeah. Got to be careful on the... Oh. Okay. She says, I've been carrying two Pokemon fossils, but they're just so heavy. Would you take one of them off my hands? Sure. So would you like the cover fossil or the plume fossil? Plume, please. Oh, you like the plume fossil? It's the fossil of a bird Pokemon that lived in an ancient forest. Cool. But they say it couldn't fly. So you got a uh, plume fossil. It's a not flying bird. <laughs> You put it Damn in the it. items case. Um, so it says, The fossil of an ancient Pokemon that flew in the sky in ancient times. It appears to be part of its wing. So why can't it fly? She said it was said that it couldn't, but who knows? What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I wanted the bird Pokemon because I wanted to use fly. 
and you know that every other fossil that you've ever come across that you've been able to revive, which is almost certainly what this is, has been also part rock. So it would be likely flying in rock, mm -hmm. which would be good because you have neither of those types on your team right now. Correct. Okay. <clears throat> but it says it can't fly, or she said it can't fly, so we'll see. The museum in Nacreen City. I hear Pokemon can be restored from fossils there. So there you go, Nacreen City. Because Lenora loves bones and fossils. So we'd have to go back to Nacreen where we fought Lenora, the normal type gym leader with the, um, where Plasma came and stole the dragon skull. Yeah. All right, let's talk to this guy. Oh, first we run into a wild... Yamask again. <laughs> Level 21. Okay. We've got Sand Isle, level 23. And we will bikes. It hits and does not kill in one. The mummy ability activates, changing our Moxie to mummy. Yamask used Nightshade, which does 21 damage to us. Yikers. Because that's what Nightshade does. Uh, let's use Assurance. It hits. And finishes off the Yamask. Super effective. Yamask faints. Sandow gained 117. Blitzel 123. Nice. And that's it. Let's talk to this guy. Can we, um... Oh! Trainer, you still can't move ahead because there's so much sand. I'll do my best to remove the sand. Give me a second. Okay, so we can't go that way. Uh -huh. You were going to ask a question. I'm sorry. Yep. Um... Can we take a look at... Sandile's tax. I want to see uh, between Bite and Assurance, which one's better. Bite. By okay. 10 power, they're both physical, so they both work off of the same uh, attack stat, and they're both dark, so yeah. Uh, bite may flinch, and it does say, for Assurance, if the target has already taken some damage in the same turn, this attack's power is doubled, Whoa. So the, the only time that that is relevant, I would think, is if, like, it's, um, no, I guess burn happens at the end of the turn. If it, like, if it goes first and uses, like, a, an attack that has um, recoil. Oh, oh, okay. Because, like, you're not going to attack it twice in a turn. Right. Although, I guess that would work in a double battle situation. Okay. Right? If your other Pokemon is faster than Sandile, hits, and then you hit with Assurance, it would do double. I, I can assure you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, I will not remember that if okay. that situation comes up in the future. Right. I, I didn't remember that that was a thing at all. Uh, I'll try, but I'm it's sure I won't remember. It's not that big of a deal. I didn't realize it had to be the exact same turn. Like... Yeah, it's weird. It's okay. weird like that. That's fine. Okay. We won't worry about that. But your attack stat is your... Um, the stat that is lowered as your speed is increased just based on your nature, but it's still your second highest stat after your speed, not right. counting HP, of course, because that's just a different thing. Uh, are we happy with Sandow's HP right now, even though it's up front? Not really, no. Do you want to use uh, an item on it? Yeah. A potion to bring it to 54 out of 61? Or a super or a freshwater or something just to bring it to full? <sighs> Let's see what we have. Uh, we, okay. <clears throat> we have um fresh water has 50 yeah they're super potion and fresh water are the same thing so 10 supers eight fresh waters and two regular potions that restore 20 hmm. all right let's use a um a super potion you got it we have 10 of them, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. Restored by 27. And, okay. Now, my question to you is, uh, do we go through the quicksand or just back where we came from? Oh. They said you could fall through. Can we just go down these stairs and end up in the same place? Again, he said we can't go this way. Oh, oh right. right. As, we, as we walked okay. past, he stopped us. Let's fall in the hole, I guess. The one on the left or the one on the right? One on the left. So, you fall through and end up right here. 
Okay. And get a revive. Sick. <laughs> I need those. <laughs> <clears throat> so there's, by the way, you can see another one over there. Uh, there's stairs down right there and stairs up here. But first, it's another Yamask. Okay. Level 22. What will Sandile do? Bite. Makes sense to me. Bite hits and almost finishes it off. Yeah. But the mummy ability activates. Yamask used Will-O-Wisp and burned us. Oof. Sandile was burned. Takes seven damage from the burn at the end of the turn. Yikes. Okay. Uh, assurance. Okay. Shouldn't matter based on Yamask's uh, HP. Yamask faints, but as a reminder, burn, when you are burned, halves your attack power. So just the same as um, paralysis makes your uh, speed halved, yeah. burn does the same to your attack. Wow, okay. But again, it was at low enough health it didn't matter, but because bite and assurance are both physical moves, if something like that happens in the future, just something to be aware of. That's sure. Uh, can we, do we have a burn heal? Yeah, I know we at least picked one up in the last episode. Yeah, we have two. In oh, fact. Okay. So we'll use one and get rid of Sandile's burn. Okay. Great. Let's keep it moving. Okay. Do we want to try to see if that's a ledge to hop to go to the left or we want to go back up the stairs? Can we investigate this hole where it looks like a bunch of sand is coming in? Not a thing. It's okay. just for flavor. Okay. And we can't go behind the staircase to see if there's another item? No. Okay. Good ideas, though. All right. Uh, let's go down the stairs. Cannot. Okay. Let's... Let's run into a wild... Yamask. Level 19. Lower level. Okay. Bite again. Yeah. You got it. Bite hits... And does not finish off the Yamask. Mummy activates. Yamask flinched, though, from the bite. Oh. Assurance. Yep. Assurance hits. And finishes off the Yamask. Uh, 95 for Sandile, 99 for Blitzel. Blitzel is level 23. Awesome. There are your pluses. Okay. Again, who needs defense, right? Uh, 59 HP, 38 attack, 23 defense, 30 special attack, 26 <clears throat> special defense, and 44 speed. Okay. Uh, up the stairs, obviously. It's kind of yeah. the only thing we can do. And then there's nothing else to do here but to jump back down to where we just were. Oh. Okay. So we're just done in this building now? Yeah. Seems like that. Wow. Because we saw that both of those... Sand pits go down to right next to the one another. Same spot. So yeah, that's, that's it. Dumb as fuck. You came in here for a couple of trainer battles, or yeah, a couple of trainer battles and some Yamask fights. Boring. <laughs> but it will level up Sandile as long as it, you know, lives this fight as it has lived all the other fights. Sure. It used Haze, which changes or uh, gets rid of all stat changes, of which there were none. Uh, we use Assurance. And finish off the Yamask. Nice. Sandile gained 95 and is now level 24. Cool. Which means there are your pluses. All right. 64 HP, 37 attack, 27 defense, 22 special attack, 28 special defense, and 45 speed. And Blitzel also gained 95. So yes, as you correctly pointed out, we are now done in this building. Okay. The Relic Castle. Oh, and we got a fossil in here, of course. Oh, Let's yeah. Let's not forget. A fossil of a bird that can't fucking fly. Well. It's the only reason why I would have fucking wanted it. <laughs> um, do we want to explore this area anymore? Do you think you've, you fully explored here, or do you want to just go? Well, let's see. <clears throat> let's go in the dark sand and see if we can get some... Uh, Wild encounter battles. Oh, or you can get a regular battle with this psychic lady. Okay. But first, it's a wild... Darumaka. Okay. Level 19. You want to use your ground type attack or switch? 
ground type attack. Makes sense to me. Sand Tomb hits and does not finish off Darumaka. It became trapped. It used Uproar, which hits for like three damage. It's buffeted by the Sandstorm and the Sand Tomb. Finish it off with a Sand Tomb or one of the Dark type attacks. Uh, assurance. It hits and does finish off the Darumaka. Very okay. nice. Darumaka faints. Moxie boost, irrelevant. It's a wild Pokemon. Uh, 94 and 98. Okay. Okay, so we'll talk to this person. Yes. I am a psychic, so just one look at you tells me that you are a trainer. Thanks. It's one of those hokey psychics, like they can <laughs> see the Pokeball on your belt and they're just like, oh, I, I've made this observation. Psychic <laughs> Sybil with one Pokemon, Gothita. Oh. Doesn't look very goth. <laughs> okay. A sandstorm kicked up. Gothita's Frisk ability frisked us and found our black glasses. Oh. It's basically just a way for you, if you have a Pokemon with Frisk, to know what your opponent's held item is. Oh. Okay, just to know what it is. Correct. It doesn't get taken. Correct. Okay. <clears throat> what will we do? Bite. It hits. Level 24, Gothita, dies in one hit. Critical wow. hit. That's probably why. Yes. But anyway, Gothita faints. Moxie boost irrelevant. It's her only Pokemon. Sandile's attack rose gains 210 and 218 for Blitzel. You Wait. defeated Psychic Sybil. Why is the um, Moxie... Irrelevant. Because it only boosts after you kill a Pokemon, and I said it's her only Pokemon. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought it uh, boosted <clears throat> when you kill a Pokemon. Uh, when you kill a trainer Pokemon, it, like, gives you more experience or whatever. Oh, I see. I see. <clears throat> no. Yeah, it boosts your attack after a Pokemon is fainted by you, by Sandile. Um so that then the next Pokemon that comes in, you have a higher attack. Yeah. So you got 768 for winning. Sifting the ever-changing sands, sifting my ever-changing feelings. Telepathy means others will be aware of my feelings. That could be a good thing. Wait, it means others will be aware when I have awkward or painful feelings too. That's yeah. true, yeah. You got another fresh water. Cool. Very cool. You found water in the desert, Amy. Yeah. <laughs> How convenient is that? There's another backpack here. I feel like here. we should give it away. <laughs> One of these people probably needs it. Uh, we're cool with Sandile still up top? Or... Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, Blitzel still has the experience share. That's still okay as well? Um. Yeah, I mean, Simisage is only at 21. Mm-hmm. But I feel like Simisage is going to end up being more useful. Okay. Like, there are going to be more times where we're going to feel like we're, we can level, level up Simisage the real way. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I think we'll we'll keep it this way. You got it. Not a problem Maybe at all. Maybe though. Okay. Yeah. Let's put it on Whirlipede. Okay. We've taken the experience share. Uh, we will give the experience share, whoops, over here to Whirlipede. Whirlipede's already holding the poison barb, so we'll take off the poison barb for now. Uh, and then for Blitzel, do we want to give Blitzel the scope lens for more crits or amulet coin for more money? Amulet coin. You've got it. I don't think we're going to use Blitzel, but in the event that we do use Blitzel, mm -hmm. at least we can make money on it. I like it. All right, we'll talk to this backpacker then. Yes. Whether I travel or not, I want to make a great discovery. Sounds good. It's... I'd rather travel than make a great discovery, but <laughs> that's just me. Backpacker Elaine with one Pokemon, Maractus. Oh. Okay. So did you tell me, I mean, you said it didn't look goth, but what did you think of Gothita before? Yeah. Nah? Okay. And what about now with Maractus? It's fine. 
It's a cactus. Yes, it sure is. Um, I feel like we shouldn't use sand dial for this. Okay. Um, so there are other people we could be using. Okay. Um, so uh, let's put in Darumaka. Darumaka. I mean, Amy. Uh, you know, you didn't talk about it. What are you assuming this Pokemon's type is? <laughs> Grass. <laughs> what an assumption. It used Needle Arm, which dealt eight damage. It's buffeted by the Sandstorm. So are we. Okay. Fire Fang or Fire Punch? Oh, uh, Fire Punch. Maractus used Synthesis and regained the sliver of HP that it lost from the Sandstorm. Oh. And now takes a... Nope, it missed. Oh. Anyway, we're both buffeted by the Sandstorm again. Cool. Try again. Uh, can we look at what the accuracy is of these two fire moves? We sure can. Check moves. Fire Fang is 95 okay. and Fire Punch is 100. It's just that, again, because of our ability, our accuracy is lowered and our attack is increased. I call shenanigans. All it's, right, that's, fine. It just means that your attacks are going to miss sometimes. Fire punch. <laughs> okay. Maractus used Cotton Spore. It's already faster than us, so lowering our speed is irrelevant, which is fine, because we're at minus two speed now. Fire punch hits and finishes off the Maractus in one. Yay. Darumaka gained 290 and is level 23. Sick. There are your pluses. Okay. Always with the more attack for Darumaka, man. <clears throat> it definitely doesn't need it, but you're still getting it. 70 HP. Okay. 51 attack. Nice. 34 defense, 12 special attack, and 28 special defense and speed. Fine. And Sandile gained 266. Whirlipede gained 581. Nice. And you beat Backpacker Lane. Oh, I must have. I may have discovered something good about you. And you got $552 for winning. And what was that? You're good at Pokemon, I assume. Oh. The world is full of mysteries. That's why I look closely, and that's why I listen carefully. I think, I reflect, and I discover something new. Great. That was awesome. I loved that. Good. We found a super potion. So we found a freshwater and a super potion. Cool. Okay, so this is the edge here. Jump we were off here the before. cliff. We can't do that, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, do a barrel a... roll. <laughs> Tuck and roll. Get an item here. A heart scale. Oh, okay. So as a reminder... You have to sell that shit. I think so, right? Yes. Uh, it's a pretty heart-shaped scale that is extremely rare. It glows faintly in the colors of the rainbow. So th this may I be... I just remember it being one of the things in previous generations that it said, oh, you can sell this for like a decent amount of money. I don't remember if that was a heart scale. I know that some some games have it... Oh! Some games have it where, like, if it's a rare item, you'll find a collector in the game at one point who's like, hey, if you trade me a heart scale, I'll do a thing for you. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Look what we found. A castle spire. It's the relic castle. Oh. Well, that's fr frustrating. <sighs> Boo. Good talk, relic castle. Thanks. Okay. Well, you said you wanted to go through here, right? So, first step. Okay, it's a wild. <gasps> oh my god. You found your Dwebble, Amy. <clears throat> oh, I'm so excited. It's level 20. What will we do against this Dwebble? <sighs> <laughs> what can I do to it that won't kill it? Assurance? Assurance hits. It did very little. Faint attack. That's a dark type attack. Does very little. It's not very effective. Assurance again. Hits. Puts it down to the yellow. It used Smackdown. Oh. It's not very effective. Okay. Uh, let's. Can do we have? Um. 
somebody who can put a status on this thing? That's a damn good question. Um, I mean, Lick poison paralyzes. Barb. Poison Barb is an item. <laughs> a hold oh. item. Um, but uh, Lick paralyzes occasionally. Um, that Poison Tail. Poison Tail can poison, but is very strong. Oh. Um, I mean, maybe not against a rock bug type, but still. But yeah, otherwise, Lick is probably your best bet. Smog, smog. I guess, would also poison, but it does damage, too. It's 20 power, 70 accuracy. So. Uh, okay, but the... Poison Tail... Poison Tail... is 50 power, 100 accuracy, Ooh. and is stab on Whirlipede. Jesus. And okay. critical hits land more easily with no, Poison Tail as no, well. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. Bye. So, Smog or Lick, I think, are your two best bets. Yeah. Uh, what's the power on Lick? It's uh, a damn good question, Amy. Hold on. Uh, Lick is 20 power, 100 accuracy. Okay. So, it's weaker than Smog, right? Smog was. Oh, Smog is also 20. But it's 70 accuracy. Yeah, that just means it's less likely to hit, but that's fine. It's not like it's not like Pig Knight's going to go down to Dwebble very easily, unless it's using Rock-type attacks, I guess. But Pig Knight is a higher level, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so it's likely to do more damage that way. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So let's use... Sma uh, let's use uh, Lick. Okay. Yeah, Simusage is quite a lower level. In fact, we learned yeah. three levels lower, right? So... Dwebble use sand attack. Okay. So it'll be harder to hit it, but we'll try it. We're buffed about the sandstorm. Dwebble is not. Lick hits. Please be alive. Does not kill. Oh. It used rock polish and raised its speed plus one. Oh, plus two, excuse me. We're buffed about the sandstorm. Uh, I'm afraid to do it again. Without a crit, you will not kill with Lick. Just based on how much damage you just did. Okay. And with a crit, you might not kill either. I'm, I'm not okay. at that point. I'm not sure, but. All right, we can do one more. Smackdown. <clears throat> did a fair bit, actually. We're at 37. <clears throat> Don't crit. Lick hits. It did not crit, but it did okay. not paralyze either. Okay. That's but it's fine. at a really low health, so. Yeah. Let's uh, throw a ball. Ultra Ball, Timer Ball, Quick Ball, Great Ball, Net Ball, Premier Ball, Heal Ball, or Pokeball. Jesus Christ. I don't <laughs> know what any of this crap is. How about Pokeball? How about Pokeball? You got it. Okay. It immediately breaks oh. out. Holy shit. Rock Polish, it's now at plus four speed. Uh. Sandstorm damage to us. Try again. Oh, and this doesn't get buffeted. Correct. It's a rock type. Rock, steel, and ground don't. So, Pokeball, Ultra Ball, Quick Ball, Timer Ball. There's all the all the many options that I listed earlier. What's a Timer Ball again? Timer Ball, the longer a battle has been going on, the easier it is to catch. You caught your Darumaka in a Timer Ball. Netball is for bug and water types that it works especially well on. Oh, so maybe we'll use that. Let's try it. You want to? Yeah. All right, baby. One, two, three. Yeah. Ah. You got your Dwebble, I Amy. love it. <laughs> Dwebble's data was added to the Pokedex. Come on. And so, Dwebble, the rock in Pokemon, is a bug rock type. It is one foot tall and weighs 32 pounds. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? It's got a rock on its back, Amy. <sighs> it's a rock. <laughs> this Pokemon can easily melt holes in hard rocks 
with a liquid secreted from its mouth. What the fuck? Because then it, I guess that's how it burrows into the rock to make a home there. A home there. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> crazy, but awesome. Right? I love I its little footprint. I live at the Rock Inn. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right. like the Hard Rock Hotel? Exactly. <laughs> exactly like that. <laughs> so no nickname, and it goes to the PC. You caught a Dwebble, Amy. You did it. Yay, I love it. I actually genuinely didn't remember Dwebble was in this area, so there you go. I'm glad that we uh, stuck around. Thank it's you. a sand dial. Level 19. We've got our sand dial. Level 24. Uh, Intimidate is the ability this Sandile has oh. to lower our attack. Uh, one of these attacks or switch. Well. Ground will be neutral. Yep. And dark will be neutral. <laughs> I don't think that's correct. Uh, because it is a dark and ground... Oh, well, okay, so it won't be neutral, because be... it's neutral against ground, and it's not very effective against dark. Yes, absolutely correct, yeah. So it'll be... Dark is not very effective, ground will be neutral. Okay, so let's use Sand Tomb. Okay. We use Sand Tomb, and the opponent uh, dodged it. It hits us with Sand Tomb, though. Oh. And puts us to 19. We became oh, trapped by the sand tomb. What the hell? I guess we had uh, low health. Oh, yeah. We were super low. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's switch out. Uh, okay. To who? Oh, good question. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Simisage. Oh, Simisage isn't doing too hot. Um, well, um... <laughs> um, you have another Pokemon that does well against fighting. Dark. Fighting. Okay, so that'd be Pig Knight. Yes. Okay, I wasn't thinking of Pig Knight, that's fair, but... Okay, Yeah, fair let's enough. use Pig Knight. Okay, uh, Amy, you're trapped in Sand Tomb, so you can't switch up. Oh. So either you use an item on it, fight through it, or... Um, let it die. Or let it die. Switch up. Uh, let's use an item. Okay. <clears throat> it's down by 49? Yeah, we'll use a fresh water. Yeah. Its HP was restored. The opposing Sandile used Assurance and did uh, 7 damage to us. We're hurt by Sand Tomb for four more points of damage. Whoops, not an item. Okay. Sand Tomb again. Sand Tomb again, please. It hits this time, unlike last time. Does that much. Mud Slap from the opposing Sand Isle lowers our accuracy. Okay. We're hurt by Sand Tomb. <sighs> They're hurt by Sand Tomb. Let's do Sand Tomb again. We'll just spam it. You got it. It hits, puts it to the yellow. We avoided the sand tomb, but are still hurt by the prior one. Ugh. It's hurt by the current one that we just <laughs> did. Sand tomb, our sand tomb misses. Assurance hits, not very effective. We were freed from their sand tomb. They are hurt by ours. We hit them, we miss our sand tomb. They hit theirs. Put us to 21. Ugh. Then down to 17. Jesus. It takes damage and goes down to the red. Okay. Sand Tomb. Let's make it happen. It hits. Oh, thank God. That should be it. It is. It missed the last two of them. I know. It lowered our accuracy, so. I know. Moxie boost, but irrelevant. We gain 86 experience and 95 for Whirlipede. Okay. Uh, clearly, we need to heal up. Let's go see the good doctor. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Uh, quickest way out of here is this way, but of course we run into a wild Pokemon. We were running into none earlier, and now we're running into a million of them. Here's another Darumaka. We've got Sandile still up top. Ugh. Fine. 
You could use your ground type move. You could switch. What are you feeling? I'm feeling we need to heal if we're going to stay in. Um, okay. So would you like to use an item or would you yes. like... Okay. Because we didn't make it to the doctor, obviously. Um, yeah, let's use a fresh water. You got it. Back to full. Fire Fang. Holy shit. Crits and kills Sandile. Fucking gigantic waste of time. Wow. Run or switch? Oh no, I'm gonna fight this thing now. Okay. Because now I'm pissed. Okay. Who um, are you using? Who am I using? I don't know. We don't have anybody else. Nobody with super effective moves. Correct. Fine. I guess I'll fucking run. Uh, you don't have that choice anymore. Oh, great. You could put somebody in and then try to run. Just put somebody faster in, like Blitzel. Should probably be fine. Fine. Blitzel comes in. And we got away safely. Oh, there's another trainer over here, but we avoided them. Uh, I don't know if we saw that person already. Okay, we're back here, and we know that we can safely get to the doctor without going through any uh, of the, pink of the sand. dark sand. So, just go like this, and we're home free. Hi, Doc. Thank God. Heals us up. Okay. All right, let's go fight this trainer, I guess. Yeah, let's go check it out. What happened here? Okay, we're good. Oh, cool. There's an item. There sure is. It's a Stardust. What is that? It's can be sold at a high price to shops. Okay. Lovely red colored sand with a loose silky feel. <clears throat> So yeah, notably, heart scale does not say that part. Yeah. So good so to it's definitely not. Yeah, good to know. Okay. But we got this other one now. Oh, here's this person that we saw Come earlier. back. Oh, this it's, music. It's awesome, right? Ugh, I hate it. Oh wow, the abilities of my Pokemon. I will show them to you. Okay. It's. Psychic Low with two Pokemon. Get low. Yamask is first. All right. Level 22. We have Sandile. Thankfully. Level 24. Okay. Uh, bite or assurance? Bite, please. Hits. <clears throat> Does a lot. Mummy. Nightshade. Does 22, as we know. Assurance. Hits and kills. One more Pokemon. Now, notably, no Moxie boost because our ability was changed to Mummy. Mm. Royal P gained 202. Muna is next when we switch. No. Didn't think so. Muna is out. Bite again. Please. Hits. Does not finish it off. Imprison. Sealed our moves. Buffeted by the seal. Oh, God. Assurance? Yes. Hits. And that's Muna. Bye. Critical hit. Thanks, Sandal. Uh, <laughs> Muna faints. Sandal gained 175. Whirlipede 192. And you beat low. Could not really make good use of the ability mummy. I mean, yeah, I think you did. You had $704 for winning. Okay. And... If an ability is changed to Mummy, the Pokemon cannot use its original ability. It's subtly devious, isn't it? I guess. <clears throat> okay, so it was called Imprison, not Seal? It's it's called... The move is called Imprison, and then it seals the opponent's moves, is okay. the effect of the move. Interesting. Yeah. The world is full of mysteries. Okay, so we, we spoke to this person earlier. We just didn't go this far down enough to see this person. Uh, in that space, but this is where we were before. 
So unless, I guess we can go check the bottom corner and see if we missed anything. Yeah. This way. We did. <gasps> it's Carmen San Diego. It is kind of Carmen San Diego. There's also, it looks like a path that way that we haven't gone yet either. Um, we're good though? Yeah. Okay. Well. Go ahead. I don't know if we want to fight Carmen San Diego first or if we want to go to the left. That's your call. Let's go to the left, and then we'll come back for Carmen San Diego. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> First, we run into a wild Darumaka. Sand tomb. Makes sense to me. Here comes Sandile. Sandstorm kicked up. Sand tomb hits. well over half, became trapped, Fire Fang hits, and puts us to oh. two. Oh my god. It's hurt by Sand Tomb. Try to kill it or heal. Heal. We're down by 62. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> uh, fresh water is fine, I think. Okay. Fresh water up to 52. Darumaki used Fire Fang again, but we avoided it. Oh, thank God. It takes Sand Tomb and Sand Storm damage and goes to the red. Ugh, and Sand now Tomb. What? Sand Tomb. Yeah, I'm not even gonna, like, try Assurance and it be missed. like, this will be fine. Uproar! Oh, shit. Did a very little amount of damage, buffeted by the Sand Storm, oh. and takes Sand Tomb damage. And goes to like, you know, 3 HP or something. <sighs> Fine. Assurance. It hits. Thank God. I down, can't do this. Down goes <laughs> Darumaka. Uh, My blood pressure is gonna... <laughs> Sandow gained 94. Whirlipede gained 103. Nice. Very nice. Oof. Very close. It's a wild... Darumaka again. Ugh, okay. Hi, friend. Level 19. Okay. Sand Isle level 24. Sandstorm kicks up. Sand Doom. It hits. Does well over half. Became trapped by the Sand Tomb. It used Facade, which we avoided. It's buffeted okay. by the Sandstorm and takes Sand Tomb damage. Now what? Sand Tomb again. It hits. <clears throat> That's a Darumaka down. No damage to us this time around. Thank God. Darumaka faints. Moxie boost is relevant. 94 for Sandile. 103 for Whirlipede, who is now level 23. Yay! Those are your pluses. Okay. I can deal with it. 56 HP. 34 attack. 53 defense. 30 special attack. 39 special defense. And 28 speed. All right. And you are out of the grass, or the grass, the sand. Yeah. And there's a different, like a male Carmen San Diego. <laughs> a blonde Carmen San Diego. A, a Cameron San Diego, if you will. Oh. <laughs> I'll show you the harshness of, a, of the desert through a battle. No one can see that I'm dancing to the music. That's true. It's Pokemon Ranger Jaden with two Pokemon. Darumaka is first. Of course. Level 23. Uh, Holy no. shit. We've got level 24 Sandile. I wonder what we'll do. Uh, yeah. We are faster. Sandtomb hits. Does not quite do half. <laughs> Fire Punch hits us no and kills us fuck you wow buffeted by the sand storm but is no longer in sand tomb because we're not alive <sighs> let's use blitzel you got it blitzel comes in also level 23 shockwave shockwave goes first and hits yay and does that much. Fire okay. Punch hits. And kills in one. 
Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Daramaka's so strong. I know. Holy shit. <clears throat> it really <laughs> pisses me off, to be honest. Oh my god. Okay. I don't even want to hit it with anything. I just want it to get, like, sandstorm sand to death. Sandstorm to death. Can I tell you something that I think is hilarious? On the right-hand side here, you see the Darumaka sprite, our Darumaka sprite? Yeah. Doesn't it look like he's, like, moving his hands back and forth and flipping you off? Yeah. It really, it really It 100% does. looks like that to me. It looks like he's just waving both of his hands back and forth and giving you the middle finger. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Ah. <laughs> uh. So obviously Whirlipede and Simisage both weak to fire. You could just send in Darumaka or Pignite, which would take less damage from fire attacks. Yeah. Hopefully. Darumaka. Okay. Just put it in and yeah. Darumaka v Darumaka, both level 23, is that correct? Yes it is. Uh dig, fire fang, headbutt, or fire punch. Dig. Darumaka used headbutt. And we took Oh, and we flinched. Fuck. Sandstorm to both of us. So, like you said, Sandstorm will take down that Daramaka next turn, either uh, if we don't. Okay. Um, so maybe we just use, like, Headbutt or something. Actually, I was going to say, you could use Dig. Because if you dig underground this turn, it takes Sandstorm damage and dies. The other Pokemon comes in, you get a free hit on it with Dig. That's what I was going to do with it the first time. It just didn't fucking work. Well, and it would have died. I flinched. Yes, but it would have died to the dig this turn, not yeah, to well, the sandstorm okay. well, at the end. So. Regardless, I figured it, it would have either died to the dig or survived the fucking dig mm -hmm. and then died to the fucking sandstorm, so. Okay. So, I'm sorry, so you want to use headbutt or you want to no, use dig? No, we can use dig, it's fine. It used facade. We're at 27. Oh we my dig. Oh god. And then it takes Sandstorm damage and dies. Mercifully. We gain 218, Whirlipede gains 217, and Blitzel is about to come in. Who is weak to ground. Will we switch? Uh, no. <laughs> Smart. Here comes Blitzel. Level 23. It uses Pursuit, which we avoided because it's faster. And we hit it with a Dig. Which finishes it off. Wow. <laughs> Okay, well. Suck it, Blitzel. 204 for both of our Pokemon, Whirlipede and Darumaka. Desert, hot, mouth, dry. <laughs> Can't use that excuse. <laughs> $2,760 for winning. No, you don't get it, Amy. He's better than you, uh, and it was just because of the sand. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful of burns, and you got a Rostberry. <gasps> does that cure burns? It does. Oh. If a Pokemon gets a burn, it also weakens physical attacks. Hey, man, I just said that. Uh, <laughs> this works quite well. <laughs> Stealing all my lines. Is it um, a hold berry? What? Is it a hold berry? Yes. Yeah, all, uh, all berries are hold berries, to oh. my knowledge. Oh, okay. Uh, well, let's go this way. Down or to, to the, the right? right? To the right. He's it takes you back to Carmen San Diego. Diego. Yeah. Uh, well, if you want to look at your team first... It's shitty. <laughs> what do we do? I mean, try to find the doctor. Okay. So, we just try to not catch Carmen Sandiego's eye as we walk past. Get up to here. Go this way. Oh god, I don't know if we've seen this backpacker yet. I think we have. But... <sighs> yeah, because I know we've seen this guy before. All right, come on, baby. Or is it this one? Yeah, we've seen all these people. Okay. <clears throat> Doctor's going to be down this way. We did it. Ah, <sighs> perfect. All right, let's go back to Carmen San Diego. Which is going to be this way. Oh, there's a psychic down here. All right, let's fight this person. Creepy music. Oh, that moment. That's when we use Pokemon. That moment, that's when we use Pokemon? That's what, what he said. moment? This moment. Fuck. Psychic <laughs> Gavin with two Pokemon. Okay. Solasis again. 
It's the embryo one. Ew. <laughs> Still gross. We've got Sand Dial. Uh, and a Sandstorm. We will bite the embryo. Yummy. It finishes it off in one, so we just eat that thing. Solus's Faints, Moxie Boost, relevant this time. Uh, 192 for Sandile, 200 for Whirlipede. Wubat is next. Will we switch? I know you don't really like eggs, but I like eggs. <laughs> oh, gross. Can eat the embryo. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's terrible. It's pretty gross. Don't listen to me. <laughs> don't listen um, to me. Well, I'm going to listen. don't eat people's embryos. Oh, um, God. Just tell me if we're switching or not, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Okay, I did not think so. Here comes Woobat. Bite again? Bite again. Sounds good to me. Bite hits. And down goes Woobat. Bye. Moxie boost again. I don't believe he had a third Pokemon, but 208 for Sandile, who is now level 25. Ooh. There are your pluses. Okay. 66 HP, 39 attack, 28 defense, 22 special attack, 29 special defense, and 47 speed. Wow. Sandile wants to learn Swagger. However, Sandile already knows four moves. Delete a move to re replace it with Swagger? Probably not, but let's see. So Swagger, as a reminder, is a normal type move that does no damage. It has 90 accuracy. The user enrages and confuses the target. However, it also sharply raises the target's attack stat. So you basically give your opponent plus two attack, but confuse it. Because as you may know, if it hurts itself in confusion, it's based on its attack stat for how much damage it does to itself. But if it's using physical attacks against you, it will do more if it breaks through confusion. Yeah, that sounds awful. Okay, so we will not learn it, correct? We will not. Sounds good to me. Okay, Sandile did not learn Swagger. And Whirlipede also gained 217, and you defeated Psychic Gavin. Oh, is it over already? Yep. You got 736, yep. 736 for winning. Oh, that moment. That's when you notice how great Pokemon are. Oh, okay. Sure. Oh, there's an item over there. Get it. It's a Firestone. Whoa, what is that? What do you mean, what is that? It's a stone it that evolves. It evolves fire Pokemon? Some fire Pokemon. Oh. Makes certain species of Pokemon evolve. It is colored orange. Do you want to see if anybody can evolve with a Firestone? I mean, I assume Darumaka. Darumaka uh, cannot evolve with a Firestone. What? None of them can. Not even Pignite. Well, because Pignite is the highest evolution, I assume. Not because... So Pignite is your starter, and Pignite is only its second stage after Tepig. Oh. And every starter you've ever had has three. Oh, okay. But still, Firestones do not automatically evolve any fire Pokemon they touch. There are only certain Pokemon that evolve with Firestones. Boo! <laughs> Throw it away. Oh my god. <laughs> Give it to Carmen San Diego when we fight her. What if she doesn't have a Pokemon that needs it? Give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Uh, anyway. Oh, uh, notably, Sandile, now your strongest Pokemon at level 25. Nice. Are we keeping it up top still? Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Uh, if we go up to Carmen San Diego, she says, Scorching desert, a passion for adventure, and a heated battle. Exactly. <laughs> and so... No, the egg was the other person. <laughs> it's Pokemon Ranger Mylene with Ducklet. Ducklet? Wow. <laughs> okay. You don't like it? No, it's just a fucking duck. <laughs> it didn't do anything to it. It's just a fucking blue-ass <laughs> duck. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Bite, Assurance, Torment, Sand Tomb, or Switch? Let's switch, please. What type do you think this duck is, Amy? Put in Simma's age. <laughs> I 
I'm going to kill this fucking duck. Sandile comes out. Simisage comes in. Maybe that's what my fossil's going to be, a fucking duck. Bubble Beam. Oh my god, Amy. Did you know it was a water type? No idea. You should have figured that out. What's wrong with you? Uh, it's buffeted by the Sandstorm, as are we. Vine Whip. I guess I don't think I have to ask. Uh, hits and does that much. It was that. neutral. <gasps> It used Aqua Ring and surrounded itself with a veil of water. We're both buffeted by the sandstorm, and then it heals from its Aqua Ring. Bitch. Vine Whip. I'll do it again. So, Amy, Vine Whip was not super effective. I wonder what its other type is. It used Feather Dance. Oh, it isn't flying, because it's fucking a duck. So it can't fly. Our attack fell by minus two. Ooh. We're both buffeted by the sandstorm, but then it heals itself. <sighs> what will we it's, do? It's a flying type that can't fly. Correct. But also, it's my fucking fossil. It's... <laughs> I know it. <laughs> okay. So you think, because it's your fossil, right? Right. Let's, let's work off that <laughs> rationale. So you think that this is a water flying type... That and can't fly. Either that it's a rock type as well, or that it's the first fossil <laughs> ever that's not also part rock. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Fine. Let's go with that <laughs> rationale. Why not? Fine. We it's water rock because it can't fly, and it's a fucking fossil. <sighs> but if if it was water rock, Vine Whip would be four times super effective <laughs> instead of neutral. So, you know. Uh... Fine. Just Vine Whip it. <laughs> Just do it. Vine Whip hits <laughs> and puts oh, it to the red. It used Aerial Ace against you. Don't. And it almost killed your Simisage, but we're buffeted by the Sandstorm. It's buffeted by the Sandstorm, and it dies before it can heal with its Aqua Ring. Good. You gain 125 on Simisage, who grows to level 22, and those are your pluses. Okay. 67 HP, 56 attack, 34 defense. 51 special attack, 34 special defense, and 50 speed. Those are some pretty good stats. Whirlipede 209, Sandile 105, and you beat Pokemon Ranger Mylene. Hot, 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 hot! And you got $1,440 for winning. Wow. And yes, I agree, those stats were awesome. Speed is crucial to treat a burn, so you got another Rostberry. Thank you. Put the Rossberry in the berries case. Whether it is hot or cold, there is no problem if you have passion. Hey, you want a Firestone? Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 All right, so we, we did not go this way, right? So we can go to the right or to the left. Uh, let's go to the left. Because then we can circle back around to the right. You've got TM39 for... Rock tomb. Yes, a rock type move. And I can put it on our new rock type Pokemon. Oh, the Dwebble. Sure. Yeah, the Dwebble, not the fucking fossil, because the <laughs> fossil sucks. All right, so that's it for this area. But like you said, we can circle around to the right, which comes back up here and leads us back to this point. So that's it. Okay. We did it. Let's go through here. We can't. We can't so it's too through. tight. Yeah. Okay. But that means I believe we have explored the entirety of the desert. Woohoo! So, you know what that means. What does it mean? It means that that is... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. That is going to be the end of this particular episode. We might run into wild Pokemon, so we can uh, close out while we fight these things. This is a Sandile. Level 22. We've got Sandile level 25. Okay. What, what will we do against the sand dial, Amy? We will sand tune. Okay. It hits, does almost half. It hits us with a sand tune. That does 16. It We both take sand tune damage. And it goes to the yellow from that, which is great. You want to wow. do it again? Yes. It hits... And finishes it off. Wow. Sandile faints. Moxie boost is irrelevant. Quick and easy. <laughs> Sandile game 112. Whirlipede 122. 
and we move on. So, everybody, as a reminder, I don't know if I said it already in this episode, but if you're enjoying the things that we're doing here on this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. You will get notifications whenever any of our videos come out, including more of this series in the coming weeks, because obviously we will be back next week with more. Um, I guess now that we're out of the desert resort, we can find out what is uh, under the overpass in the other direction. Since that's kind of the only thing we haven't done yet. We went this way and found that there was nothing there. Uh, there is not a wild Pokemon here. So yeah, uh, like I said, hopefully you can join us next week. And then as a reminder, we have other channels. Links down in the description box below for our Magic the Gathering channel, Geek for All. And Gluten Free for All. And we have other series on this channel as well. Uh, so please feel free to check those out also. Like I said, next week we will go uh, north from this area, but that is going to be the end of this particular episode. Uh, I did, maybe I did mention earlier, maybe I didn't, but uh, as a reminder, also, if you're enjoying the things that we're doing and you want to support us in other ways, please don't forget that likes and shares also go a very long way, and we really do appreciate any and all support that you are willing to give. Yes. So... For now, from us here at the Geek for All family of channels, I've been Joe. And I'm Amy. And as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>